it's more mademoiselle here um today i kind of want to talk about something that's kind of important to me um and i know a lot of people have had um some sort of experience with this uh, i definitely see a lot of posts recently on um, new groups um, and old groups group chats basically advice forums looking for how to stay confident when they wear a lolita this is a pretty it's difficult to say because everybody kind of experiences things differently. Um, I personally um, have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of, you know, I get really nervous and when people are looking at me, they're like judging me or, you know, when they laugh, they're laughing at me. Um, so speaking from my experience, I'm just kind of gonna let you know things that I would kind of do in public to make myself feel um, a little bit more confident. I am 100% gonna say that Lolita fashion has 1 million percent improved my confidence level like tenfold, more than you can even imagine. So that being said, um, I think it's super important to understand that, like I said earlier, everybody comes from a different place. Not everybody can just magically feel super confident in themselves like feel absolutely great in literally everything they're wearing and that's totally okay you know a lot of people will say oh well then Lolita is not for you yes and no um gonna be point blank right here right now if you wear Lolita in public people will look at you it's different it's no different than if you're in any other alternative fashion you know goth even Mori K sometimes I would get weird looks of like, oh, well, did you just come from a hiking trip or something? Or, oh, that's weird. Like, why are you dressed so old? And it's like, they're just not used to seeing this. Um, it's an alternative fashion. You just have to know that. It's, you know, it's not alternative. It, it's not mainstream. Alternative is alternative. It's just different. Um, and that's okay because the point is you're wearing something that makes you feel good. So I think like my first recommendation would be to feel good in your outfit. You know, look at yourself in the mirror and go like, wow, I love my outfit. I feel so great. Nothing feels better than, you know, you talking to yourself the way that you would want to be complimented. Um, body image is so hard nowadays. Like everything you look at yourself is always nitpicky 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 don't you know how would you talk to a friend would you pick out all their little nitpicks no you would say oh my gosh i love your outfit today it looks super cute now like i said it's easier said than done right but it, it'll take practice you know if you're not confident wearing it outside wear it in your room take pictures of yourself when you feel confident enough to post it to some group chats to get some feedback or post it in some mentoring groups to get some feedback, or post it in, you know, Closet of Frills, Daily EGL, basically any of those kind of groups where like we encourage you to share your creativity. Lolita is 100% a creative fashion. It's super important to really just hone your skills. Now, moving into the public. So when you go out, like I said, people will look at you. You're different, you're new. I, from personal experience, one of my favorite stories is this lady, um, I went to Walmart and this lady was just staring at me, just, and it was like, okay, is this lady like in shock of me doing this? Like what's going on? And then I noticed her face kind of went, like she was really examining me and I was like, oh great. She's one of those people who thinks I'm weird. That's fine. So I'm sitting here just kind of like, mm, uncomfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. But I, you know, I just ignore. It's really hard for me to do that, but sometimes you just gotta blinders on, you're doing your thing. Don't, I guess I would say most of the time, just kind of ignore them. Now, I'll explain in a minute why that's not always A, possible, and B, a good idea. But. In this case, I ignored her. And then all of a sudden, as I'm walking through with my cart, she goes, excuse me, ma'am, I love your outfit. 
And I was just taken aback. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was not what I was expecting. Her face told me she hated it, but her expression said, I love it. So that to me was like really knocking me back. And it just kind of proved to me that sometimes just because somebody's staring at you, even if it looks like they're staring at you negatively, that's not always the case. Sometimes people are just too shy to admit that they, you know, either really like your outfit, have always wanted to wear it. Um, you know, that's happened to me as well. People stare and they go, oh my gosh, you were wearing Lolita. I've always wanted to wear Lolita. I've just never been confident enough. Do it. Go for gold. I, we want more people in our community. We want to share, you know, the love of your fashion, the love of, you know, just dressing up and feeling good. Um, now, uh, after that, you know, going back to, you know, when to respond, when not to respond. If there are people kind of sitting in the corner and laughing at you, um, I've had this happen a couple times. Um, you know, there's a couple ways to kind of approach it. You can either leave the area, um, remove yourself if you're really, really not comfortable. You know, you can always, if you feel comfortable enough to let them know, be like, hey, dude, what you're doing is not cool. If you have a question about what I'm wearing, please ask me. Like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, a, I'm not in a theatrical play or anything like that. You know, don't go into detail. They don't care. 99% of the time, they don't so it's not your obligation to sit there and lecture them about what the fashion is. If they ask, okay. If they don't, not you're worth your time. It really isn't. Especially if you're out just at the mall or something like that hanging out. It's not worth your time. Now, my other points to get to about feeling more confident. Um, so first, you know, we look at ourselves in the mirror self-love love yourself love your outfit you bought that dress for a reason you wear that coordinate for a reason you know feel good about the end result um, it's a creative process figuring out what goes well with what and putting it all together and finally doing yourself up you know whether you have makeup on or not you know just feeling good about yourself it's a work of art you are a work of art and relish in that because literally that's it that is you are a work of art that is the whole teapot and kettle right there and just at that point you know it's just a practicing thing i guess that would be my last piece of advice um you know and if i come up with more i'll definitely make another video but you know it is at that point it is you who are walking around as your creative self um you know, whether you're gothic, you're sweet, OTT, or, you know, UTT, <laughs> under the top, um, you are basically channeling your, like, your fashion sense is really just an art form. I've said it three million times in this video, but, you know, once you kind of realize that this is your, like, persona, not yet you're putting on a persona because this isn't a costume you're not changing your character but you know when you go out and you know, maybe at first you're a little bit scared but then all of a sudden as you continue to go out and out and out I noticed nine times out of ten I get a very positive interaction that one time might be a neutral interaction maybe sometimes a negative interaction we've all had them and we all will but they but the good interactions so much outweigh the negative ones and just having that in mind to keep you know it's a practice it's a thing it is a it is an art to be confident in yourself and that doesn't just some people it comes overnight some people it feels like a talent or something but for some people you need to work on it and that's not you're not wrong i needed to work on it i know i might seem like a super bubbly woo crazy fun person and, you know, that came with a lot of practice. It came with a lot of, you know, being made fun of and being judged and just at the end of it all going, you know what? No, I'm actually really proud of all the things that I've been doing lately. I've been proud of my outfits. I've been proud of the way that I've been putting together my coordinates. I've been proud of my personality. I've been proud of how good it makes me feel. You know, this is my dream dress. I mean, this isn't, but like, 
If you get your dream dress, you freaking let people know that. This is my dream dress. You know, I, this is a dress that I've been waiting X amount of time for. Like, love that. Own it. Be it. Like, geez, it is you. You are putting yourself out on display. That is point blank. So, love that. Because I do. Every time I see a new coordinate on Closet of Frills or, you know, Daily EGL or the Lolita Amino, like, just chef's kiss everywhere. Just, mm, love it. Beautiful. Ah, yes. Mm, absolutely wonderful. Every single person on there is beautiful. Absolutely. And, you know, if that sticks with you and that helps you just, like, feeling better about yourself, just knowing that every single, even if you're brand new and your coordinate is sweetie, <laughs> that's okay. We all start from somewhere. You should see my Ida face. <laughs> I'll do a video on that 100% for sure. You know, comment if you want to see the actual worst of the worst because I will do it. I have no shame at this point. But I just, you know, I really hope that you know, if you're not confident now, that you will be confident. And that I know that you are creating art in your flat lays, in your coordinate shots, even just shopping. You are thinking of, oh, what would look good together? Oh, what would look good together? What would look good on me? What, what do I love? What makes me feel good? Like, what an inspirational thing to show people. You going out and being so just confident in yourself and proud of yourself that is amazing share that with us <laughs> that's what we want well anyway you know i hope that helped a little bit you know i get all up in the feels because i think that stuff is so you know it's important to me you know coming from somebody who's you know, not always had it the best. Uh, it is really important to me to see people just chase their dreams and chase the things that they love because that is the best way I see people just loving themselves. It's so good. <laughs> so anyway, you know, it would mean the world to me if you stuck around with my journey. I look forward to making more videos. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, I let me know what helps you feel more confident. Um, I really want to read your responses. So let me know below what makes you feel confident in yourself going out. Just even if you don't go out, even if you're just in your room, you know, admiring your own wardrobe. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Maury Mademoiselle and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.